Alrighty tubers, today we've got this Black Max pressure washer, 3100 P3 PSI. I'm going to show you today what to do when you go to pull your pressure washer out of storage. Hopefully you've, you've winterized it. Uh, you can get an easy can that you screw on, start it up, and it flushes all the water out. Or you can use RV antifreeze to winterize your pump. Pump is the biggest thing to winterize. If you don't, you'll probably lose it over the winter. Even if it's kept in your garage, it gets cold enough to freeze it. So I'm expecting to have issues with this. This was a reject actually from a small engine mechanic nearby. Whether he didn't want to fix it, or they rather, or the customer didn't want to pay to have it repaired. Got an odd off switch right here, just like a Honda. You've also got a, I believe this has a low oil sensing unit on it. So let's check the oil on it. If your oil is low, they won't start. Definitely has oil in it. Go ahead and smell it. Smells like gasoline pretty badly. So my guess is that when you put fuel in this, I bet you it overflows in the carburetor and fills up the crankcase. So that will need to be changed out. We're fine to start it for a couple seconds on that, but I wouldn't let it run for much more than that. So let's go ahead and just try to start it. I'm not sure if it has any fuel in it right now. Let's check. No fuel, okay. So let's go ahead and ha add some fuel. I use ethanol free in everything that has a carburetor. Stops the varnish from the alcohol and stops absorbing uh, water as much as it would with the alcohol in it. I'm not gonna put a ton in there. Especially seeing that the oil smells like fuel. Old fuel, but it does indeed still smell like fuel. Let's double check, make sure my microphone's still working. Been having issues with my microphone lately. The battery goes dead on either the receiver or the <laughs> transceiver. So it's got fuel now. The fuel is in the on position. It's choked up. Well, I was not expecting that. <laughs> I was expecting to have a lot of issues so I could make a video for you guys. But that starts and runs great. And this was a reject. I'm guessing the fact that it started and ran so great, I'm going to guess that the water pump has probably been frozen on this. So. Go ahead and set that guy off to the side for a later date. That's got a great engine on it. Good for go-kart or other piece of equipment. Let's, uh, let's start again. All right, let's start again. There's another one. <laughs> a little different design. It's got a Honda 190 on it. Overhead cam. They're relatively great engines. Checking the air filter here, it's nice and clean. It's always one of the first things I do on, on these Hondas because I'm used to the lawnmowers getting completely plugged and people bringing them to me. It won't run anymore. And uh, all it needs is an air filter. Anyways, fuel is currently turned on on this one. Not sure if it's got any fuel in it. Let's go ahead and check. It's got some fuel. Smells strong enough to light off so let's go ahead and choke it <laughs> let's see if it starts 
and if it does, I don't know what I'm going to do for this video. <laughs> okay, I found these at the dump with all the numbers and everything on them for being repaired or rejected, and I knew exactly where they came from. Just a small engine place. That oil doesn't smell like fuel. They threw these away. They threw these away, guys. I don't know if the pumps even work or not on these. It makes me want to take these home and go try them out. They've been sitting in the bed of my truck for crap, almost a year, I think. And they, they flip and run great. You don't want to run a pressure washer for very long, like at all, with no water going through it. That's why I'm only letting it run for a second. Well, this one's got bolts missing. You can see that's loose, but other than that, it flips and starts and runs great. It's another great engine for something. I don't know if I'm going to have a video for you guys today. <laughs> I, I don't have... I was going to do a small engine because I don't have anything on the van. We're going to take a break from the van for a little bit until I get some more videos put together for it. I'm going to do, start doing some small engine stuff and... Things aren't supposed to work. <laughs> things are supposed to be broken. Well... These are, I could have started out of the dump. Again, I found these at the dump. Oh, well, I hope this puts a smile on your guys' face. I don't know what to do with this. Other than smile and know that I've got two good engines for something. We'll have to, maybe I'll tack on to the end of this, me taking these home. All right, so let's go ahead and test those pumps. We'll test this first one with the Honda engine on it. Let's see if it leaks profusely or if the thing works. There's no way that these things are just good, right? Let's take the nozzle off here. Looks like the nozzle might be plugged a little bit. Well, it's holding water. The pressure washer's not letting water out. Very, very hot. <laughs> you can definitely tell the garden hose has been sitting in the sun. Start it up and see what happens, huh? <clears throat> Just trying to put the nozzle back on here. There we go. Engine on, choke, start. Valve's not working on this one, but the pump works. That's a win for number one. That's that's crazy, guys. That was at the dump starts and runs perfect and the pressure washer doesn't leak and it works as it should.
go ahead and test out the other one. Just realized that last shot may have been out of focus a little bit. Let's go ahead and hook this guy up. Let's see if we got a two for two. Let's see if it works. Now remember this one's got a lot of fuel in the oil. So it definitely needs an oil change still. But I can I can run it for a minute. I shouldn't hurt anything. Let's go ahead. Choke. Fuel on. Make sure it still has the fuel in it. That yeah, still has fuel in it so it didn't leak down. Might as well turn the water on first, eh? This one's definitely leaking from the pump. Oh, as you can see there. Let's go ahead and start to see if it pressurizes. If it pressurizes, I can rebuild that pump or reseal it and get it to work. It's just the low pressure side. Looks like it's leaking. Let's go ahead and start. start again. Oh, you know, that's if you turn it on. Ran it out of fuel so it can sit for a long time now. So we got one out of two here. That's not bad. That pump is definitely dead on that. You can buy new pumps, they're about 200 bucks, so. Well, heck, guys. I figure that's still a win. We've got one good engine. It's not a tapered shaft, it should be a straight shaft. Uh, probably, what, 6.5 horse or something like that right there. Then we got the Honda back there runs great pressure washer works great just need to put two bolts in it but I, I figure that's a win guys hope you enjoyed the video we'll see you guys a little bit later see ya bye